<clears throat> Thank you all for coming, uh, everyone. This is an introductory lecture to the foundation, the, the SCP Foundation. Uh, you all have the appropriate clearance to um, be here and learn just enough about the Foundation that you would have a, essentially, a wide understanding of what it is we do and how we do it. Um, we have you all from all sorts of walks of life here. Um, we have guardsmen, we have uh, field units from all sorts of walks of life. We have researchers and engineers. And, um, well, the fact of the matter is that if you're here, you are the best of the best. And that is, well, it is humbling to be in the presence of such a wide variety of talents. I would also like to say that this very lecture will be broadcast on the SCP database. It'll be on the intranet. So uh, if anybody would like to cough and get that out of the way uh, so it doesn't show up on the recording, that would be great. Get your coughs out now. Thank you. <coughs> Excellent. So... I would firstly like to talk about what it is the SCP Foundation actually is, and um, to give you a basic overview of what it is we do, and uh, let you know what your possible role will be. Now, most of you will already know, some of you may be going through the process of testing and figuring out what you're most specialized in, so that we may figure out what you're best for when it comes to the SCP Foundation. Um, but all of you, I think, have a right to know what it exactly is we are doing here. As I say, if you're here, you're most likely here to do some really good work, and it would be very important for you to know the whole scope. Or at least as much as we're willing to divulge to uh, medium-level personnel. Now, what is the SCP Foundation? What do you do here? Um, some of you may have gotten emails and envelopes suggesting that you're going to be working for a top branch of the government or maybe the military. I'm going to let you know now that we are not connected to any military on this uh, plane of existence. Thank goodness. We're not connected to any government. We are self-governed. We are our own private body and that's for good reason because Goodness knows, we wouldn't really be able to trust any country's government at the moment. They're all a bit, um, well, deranged. That's how we like to call it. No offense to any of you who really have a really strong national pride, and just we need to be independent, and we need to make sure that our work isn't matched or, or, or maintained or looked at by any one country. The SCP Foundation, in short, secures, contains, and protects humanity. But from what, you might ask? SCPs, as we like to designate them, are anomalous objects, things with strange and unexplainable properties. They can be dangerous. Uh, they can sometimes be safe, but always they are strange. Now, these objects, they have the potential to have a great deal of power either in a capacity that we as human beings can use or in a sense that we cannot use and is simply dangerous and unexplainable and something that needs to be locked away from sight and kept out of the public eye and out of the public consciousness. The SCP Foundation contains the world from these objects, these strange, magical if you'd like to call them, uh, things which have the potential to really wreck the foundation of our existence. We want to make sure that they stay safe, we want to make sure that they stay out of the hands of civilians, we want to understand them, research them, so that we can better protect humanity from them. We have a database, a humongous thing that spans the SCP-wide intranet and essentially allows us to catalogue every single one of the things. Each SCP is given an object class, containment procedures, and a description. Some SCPs are given rather basic descriptions for those of lower level personnel who simply need to know what it is they're going to be looking out for that might be direct threat to them. Um, certain SCPs are so mind-bogglingly dangerous that we need to ensure that only the top level, the trusted personnel of the Foundation have access to the full scope of what they do. Object classes designate how challenging they are to contain and how dangerous they are. Safe SCPs are those which are easily contained. Euclid is used to describe SCPs with unreliable or, or challenging containment due to unpredictability. Uh, sentient SCPs are automatically placed in here, for example. We have Keta SCPs, which are incredibly difficult or impossible to contain, and neutral SCPs which have been either intentionally or otherwise been destroyed. The database has a list of the description of these SCPs and what we do to contain them as such. Now, 
I mentioned earlier that there are different clearance levels for those who work at the Foundation. Uh, they range from 0 to 5, and they are representative of how top secret things are. 0, for example, is the amount of information presented to a janitorial employee, and 5 for things that are potentially world-shatteringly important. Only the top of the top will have access to level 5 clearance things. Staff classes, meanwhile, range from E to A, and range from either those in isolation due to an incident with anomalous effects, to test subjects, which are often death row inmates, and all the way up to foundational, <laughs> pun intended, personnel who are important to the very existence of the foundation. Depending on your clearance level and of your staff class, you will either have more or less access to the database. And I would like to hope that you are comfortable with the clearance level as well as the uh, staff class you are designated when the time comes. If we designate you with a high clearance level, it's because we trust you. And in the foundation, trust is paramount. And trust is built over time and constant work. Now, for those of you who are currently going through the rigmarole of testing and figuring out what it exactly is that you're going to be doing here, I'd like to go over a variety of job opportunities for you. And also for those who are intending on getting up in the ranks in regards to the SCP Foundation. Perhaps you're a military personnel who's simply doing guards duty in the Foundation site and you want to be part of a task force instead, really go up the ranks. Well, this next part of the presentation should explain what each cog in the Foundation does. Now, we begin with containment specialists. Those tasked with the containment of an SCP, they respond to anomalous activity in the world and devise methods of permanent containment, either out in the field or here at one of our designated sites. If you are a containment specialist, you are integral to everything that we do. And oftentimes you will be granted a great deal of information as to what it is the SCP is. It'd be very difficult to contain something you don't know anything about, after all. Researchers are tasked with investigating the specific qualities of each SCPs. This includes our staff with doctorate and PhDs. You will be overseeing testing and ensuring that we have a full scope of what it exactly is that makes each SCP tick. I would like to warn you that over the course of your time as a researcher, you will likely come into contact with Class D personnel, those death row inmates I mentioned. When it comes to testing SCPs, we want to ensure that human contact is kept to a minimum. And the death row inmates, the, uh, the Class D personnel, are the only ones who get in contact with that. These people do not care for humanity, they do not care for you, and they will try every opportunity to escape if they can. If you're a researcher, you have to ensure that you are limited in the amount of empathy you show to these people. They are here to test, they are here to help us understand, and that is important if we're going to keep humanity safe. We also have security officers, those who ensure that both personnel on site and information are kept safe, both from outside and inside threat. You are going to be integral to containment breaches if you are a security officer. You are going to be integral to making sure that if something goes wrong on site, you are there to ensure that things are fixed. We then move on to tactical response officers. Those designated with monitoring and assaulting rival groups. Those who would potentially subvert what the Foundation intends on accomplishing. Now, as I mentioned, we do not trust any one government to oversee the SCP Foundation. We are independent, which is fantastic. It means that we can make the decisions that humanity needs to have made. Unfortunately, there are those who know about SCPs as well, and as much as we might like to try and just jam them full of amniotics, it's not possible. We can't wipe all of their memories, and there are those who are secretly trying to undermine the work we do. And as a tactical response officer, you will be ensuring that they stopped in their tracks. We then have our field agents, those who are our eyes and ears in the field, keeping poised and ready to report on anomalous activities. You are essentially going to be our spies on the civilian population. If you notice anything strange, anomalous, or quote-unquote <laughs> magical, you're going to make sure that it is reported on and that it is monitored. Mobile task forces. I mentioned this earlier. Specific SCPs require specific responses. Being a member of a task force means that you are ready to respond to specific anomalies that containment specialists are sometimes unable to keep up with. Q 
Nikita SCPs, for example, will often require a task force to ensure that they are kept back under wraps. Being a member of a task force is not easy work, but the fact of the matter is that it is world-savingly important sometimes. If you're a member of a task force, your job is to keep humanity safe at all costs, to contain things that would otherwise see it brought to ruin. It is one of the most important jobs we have on offer, and you are granted a great deal of information regarding the SCP that you are designated to hunt. Task forces are invaluable to the SCP Foundation, and being a member of one will most assuredly up your standing within the Foundation. Next, we have the Site Directors, those who manage and direct a specific facility. Now, being a Site Director means that you are utterly trustworthy. It means that you have the responsibility to look after a multitude of SCPs, or, in some cases, look after one especially devious little number. And the only way you become a Site Director is through building that trust that, as we have mentioned, is deeply important. Finally, we have the O5 Council the Overseers of the Foundation. They have complete access to all information on the database, and they are the directors of long-term strategic plans. There are 13 in total, and they are to be kept safe at all costs. If an SCP with mind-altering abilities were to get a hold of one of these, then the Foundation itself would crumble. The importance of the O5 Council is never to be understated. They are, in short, the minds of the SCP Foundation and those who would not only direct their employees to safety, but those who would ensure that humanity is kept safe at all costs. Now, after looking at this variety of different job opportunities, I'm sure some of you are excited. Some of you, I'm sure, are desperate to become site directors. Some of you are desperate to get into specific task forces with specific SCPs that you just long to learn more about. Now, I understand how fascinating it is to work here. You will be dealing with things that are demonstrably interesting demonstrably important. But, if you indeed want to rise in the ranks of the Foundation, there is one thing we need to go over, and it's one thing that I cannot understate. Containment breaches within the SCP Foundation are catastrophic to humanity's survival. Now, unfortunately for us, sometimes SCPs are devious. Sometimes SCPs are very good at not being contained. Security officers and task forces are often dispatched to recontain an offending party. However, I will say, there have been times when staff have broken protocol. When staff have done things that have put the SCPs out of containment. Have put the SCPs in a position where they are possibly compromised. Have done things that are directly against special containment procedures. I would like to say, in the event that staff make a severe breach in containment protocol, either amniotics are deployed, where you will forget everything you ever knew about the Foundation and most likely either be put into D-Class personnel or just put back into the waking world, a civilian once again, or you are dispatched. When you decided to work at the SCP Foundation, you gave up the possibility of divulging information to anybody else apart from those inside. When you joined the SCP Foundation, you gave up civilian life because you understood the important work that we do. And you understand that anything, information, or SCPs themselves, cannot leave the Foundation. Don't break protocol. We are, at this point, the only family you have. Don't betray us. If you want to rise in the ranks and become a bulwark to humanity's safety, then please do so. But I would recommend you don't do so in the attempts of trying to get your hands on certain SCPs. The SCP Foundation is built on trust, and breaking that trust, well, it's non-negotiable. That being said, if there are containment breaches, um, when the dust has settled, you might be seeing me again. I'm especially good at uh, delivering presentations like these, I must say, explaining what it is that an SCP does to those who need to know it, and reprimanding those who are potentially responsible for containment breaches. Now, I don't want to lie to you. I will come with amniotics, and I will come with punishment. So I sincerely hope that you never, ever see me again. 
Now, I apologize. That got dark for a moment. I want to assure you that this job is wonderful. Learning about the most strange and peculiar things on this earth is fascinating. Learning the best way to protect humanity is, well, it's an ego boost to be sure. But you always have to make sure you are doing your work for the SCP Foundation for the right reasons. Don't work here if you intend on getting power. Work here if you intend on protecting humanity. Thank you all for coming. As I say, this presentation will be on the Starfwide intranet, so if you want a few reminders of what it is we do, you can look it up there. Um, to those of you who are currently undergoing examinations to figure out what it exactly is that you'll be doing in the long run, well, good luck. And to everybody else, and to new members of the Foundation viewing this presentation online, welcome to the SCP Foundation. I am sure that you will do great work. Thank you all for coming. If you have any more coughs, you can do them now. <laughs>